If you're just joining us, it's Andrew Legley from the Lincoln Journal Star. We're out here at the protest of Fiji for the second night in a row. Uh, protesters are marching down our street. Uh, seems to be an impromptu march. Um, not sure where it's headed, but it looks like police might be trying to block it up ahead. We'll go see.
watch out for the sign. If you're just joining us, this is a protest that started outside the Fiji House. The Fiji fraternity was suspended from campus today as the investigation into an alleged sexual assault continues. Um, a larger crowd out here tonight even than last night. This, this march, uh, which seems to have been planned by organizers, not sure where it's headed, but I mean, as far down as you can see, there are still more and more people joining the parade as it comes by. People walking alongside the parade. More people joining the parade every, every block. And police uh, seem to be leading it, or at least escorting it, uh, wherever it's headed. So we'll try and catch back up with the, uh, the front and see where it's going. And it looks like the parade's gonna turn here on uh, what might be Vine Street. Yeah, we're at Vine and 16th right now. Uh, traffic pretty unaware of what's happening here. Um, and this should give a good indication of how many students are involved in this parade. You can kind of see headlights up there that, that are kind of bringing up the tail end, but uh, this is this is way more participants than there were last night and again the fraternity suspended today by UNL. Yes means yes and no means no. However we dress, wherever we go, yes means 
means yes and no means no. However we dress, wherever we go, yes, yes means yes, yes and, and no means no. Wherever we dress, wherever we go, yes, yes means yes and no means no. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is the march from the Fiji house to a to-be-determined location. I would have to guess back to the Fiji house as that's where everyone parked their cars. But uh, I'm Andrew Wegley from the Lincoln Journal Star and we're following live as this march makes its way. Uh, if you're just joining us, way more students here tonight than there were last night. The parade. Uh, really stretches kind of to the end of the horizon. Uh, we are on Vine Street right now. I believe we just turned from 16th a little bit ago. Uh, not exactly sure what street that is up there, but this this protest is so large, there tends to be different chants going on in different sections of the uh, of the metaphorical snake, if you will. Um, I mean, it's it just it's it's hard to put into words how how large this is and. It looks like we're going to make a turn up here and maybe I'll be able to really provide some context for for just how massive uh, this this is so
<clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> as I noted a few seconds ago, there, there seemed to be at least two or three different protests or different chants happening at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm notoriously bad at giving estimates, but this, this chain of people is, is at least 200 yards long, and it's, it's still coming around here, around the corner at uh, Vine Street, and I believe 18th Street, or 19th Street rather, it's 19th and Vine, and still a, a pretty strong wave of demonstrators making their way around the corner. The head of the demonstration passed this corner uh, at least three or four minutes ago, so.
This has so far been maybe the best uh, vantage point to give you to, to really understand how many people are actually at this protest. Again, this started at the Fiji house after there was an alleged sexual assault there on Monday night. Um, you probably heard references to the accused and to the rumor that he fled the country. The Journal Star will not identify him and we have not confirmed if he has fled the country or not. Um, last night's protest, law enforcement estimated maybe close to 1,000 protesters. Uh, this, is, this is way more than that tonight. This is at least double the size of the crowd that we saw last night. Uh, there was no march last night. They stayed stationary. Uh, and to address some of the comments about rotating my phone, uh, I'm shooting sideways. Uh, I I'm not sure why it's doing what it's doing, but I'm I might suggest maybe rotating your phone as, as you are watching at home and I'm trying to film a protest. So that, maybe try that. I, I did try to, to troubleshoot. I'm not sure what the discrepancy is. It looks normal on my end. Um, but I, I, again, I'm not, I, I can't see it from your end. So not sure where the protest is heading. Uh, we were just at a campus building and we are heading elsewhere. Okay, based off some, some constructive feedback, we're gonna try it this way. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why my phone is doing this. I promise I'm, I'm trying, uh, but gonna try and get back to the front of the crowd and, and see where we're headed. I'm not even sure where we are, so. Um, but I will let you know. Looks like a UNL PD cruiser is kind of uh, taking up the caboose here uh, in an effort to make sure traffic doesn't find its way into the crowd a la Charlottesville. So um, we will try and find the front again.
I think that cheering is a reference to, uh, we've almost made it back now to where this parade started at about 14th and R Street. We just passed 17th and R Street. Um, people in the crowd are, are asking people on their front porches uh, and other Greek houses to join into the protest. Uh, some have obliged, some haven't. Uh, if you're in the dark somehow on all of this, there was an accusation on Monday, a report of a rape at the at the Fiji house. It has since been suspended. The fraternity has since been suspended by Chancellor Ronnie Green and the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Um, but the crowd here not quite satisfied by suspension, particularly when you consider that the fraternity was already on probation uh, at the time of the alleged incident. So uh, we are making our way across 15th Street now. And traffic has been stalled here for the protest. Six or seven cars deep. Maybe five. I was a guess. Don't quote me. Here at 16th and R. crowd has picked up pace here with the stragglers trying to catch up. I suppose that makes me among these stragglers, so I'll catch up. March has concluded and, and so will this Facebook Live. You can follow along on Twitter for, for continued updates at Andrew Wegley on Twitter. It's at Andrew Wegley. Thanks for watching, uh, joining us. Subscribe to the Journal Star, all that.